Hi, and welcome to NRCC Live Business Talk. I'm with Cristian Girada, manager of Best Event. Salut! Salut, Lucian! Welcome to our uh, humble studio, where we will discuss today um, the intricacies of organizing an event in Romania to international standards. So, how do you start with? Thank you for the introduction. You're Hi. right, there is an international standard because uh, Moritz, Moritz Dochmann, it has high standards. And oh, yeah. uh, I would say this is a good benefit for us because um, Moritz's ideas make my people, make our people be better with uh, every event. Uh, so you're actually learning from this client? A uh, very kind of, demanding client. Kind of. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why uh, I said before, you're right. Uh, there is high standards when it's, uh, it's about NRCC. Okay, I was, I was thinking, how, how, where do you start? What is the most important thing? It's the visual, the LED, mm. it's the sound, the way it actually dominates the room but without, you know, putting people at risk of heart attacks. Uh, it's what a light so uh, how do you start in, in usually comes organizing with, uh, uh, things usually comes with uh, ideas um, uh, let's say you have a gala dinner like today for okay. example how uh, many people we were today uh, i think what? 94 94 okay so we we need to create few moments mm -hmm. special moments for the people to remember after the dinner so um, me or us and our client talk about these uh, moments uh, trying to be something spectacular. So uh, we You start with a set design for lights or uh, yeah. what? Uh, we, we do the simulation for the lights. Mm -hmm. Also with uh, the video controllers, the LED screen must be in the same uh, time with uh, uh, the lights controlled. And uh, uh, beside that, it's the live band. Usually an RCC uh, uh, works with uh, very good bands. Uh, uh, last time we had uh, almost uh, 30 people mm -hmm. behind the screen. Uh, uh, it was like a live orchestra. And nobody, uh, nobody plays with a disc, they all play live. Exactly, exactly. Wow. We recreate fabulous moments from uh, Pink Floyd tour, for example. Mm -hmm. We tried to recreate from large scale to indoor mm -hmm. setup. So um, that's one of the one of our clients' idea, for example, to recreate Pink Floyd moments into a small sala. Mm -hmm. And then after that, sound design. Uh, do you take measurements of the room? Do you take into yes, consideration the reflexes that might appear? How do you do it? We have a sound engineer, a video engineer, and a light mm -hmm. engineer. Together, they all come up with this design who is completely unique. Every event is different, so we have to do different designs every time. Uh, depends on our clients' demands. Uh, we can do sketch-ups before the event. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that, and after that we create the moments. Now, I have this problem in Romania when I go to events. Uh, usually the music is too loud. So you can't talk to the other people in the room. Yeah, it depends on the sound system. Do you tell the clients, listen, this is maybe too loud, people are not going to feel good. I know maybe we can turn the, the music down a little bit. And do you negotiate that with your clients? Yes, yes, especially when it comes to gala dinner. For the live bands, for sure, they need to go louder. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to the other moments of the gala dinner, for example, for sure we need to lower the sound and uh, this is what our sound technician okay. is doing. You at Best Event do sound engineering, uh, visual engineering when it comes to lights, you do the LED projections. What else do you do for the clients? You, can you actually propose a, an event, a themed event that you can organize and execute by yourselves? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, we work a lot with um, a PR agency. We have a mm -hmm. lot of PR agency uh, as our clients. So usually they do the concept. Mm -hmm. We implement the ideas. That means we are kind of a rental company for them. Mm -hmm. But we do have our own department. We do have a small office with four people working for their clients. That means we do make proposals 
for them. We do participate when it comes to a pitch, for example, for multinational companies. So they consult you, hey, is this, uh, Christy, is this a good idea? Maybe this is too crazy. Maybe this is going to be too expensive. We can't afford it. We need to go back. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, when it comes to uh, too expensive, uh, my Dutch client actually <laughs> says, uh, uh, in Netherlands, we don't have expensive. Uh, they don't do expensive. We don't have expensive as a word. Uh, uh, he, came up he came up with uh, this example. A Ferrari costs that much because it, it has good parts, good build quality mm -hmm. parts. Uh, but it's not expensive. It costs what it costs. Okay. So when it comes to expensive or cheap, usually you get what you paid for. Okay, so when you invoice, it's the actual val value of that event. Of course, we are trying to do our best in our mm -hmm. client's budget, for sure. Now, um, I understand, and I love the LED screen for tonight. Very good quality. Thank you so much. How much is that? Uh, for renting or for For buying? renting, yeah. Because we are also selling uh, LED yeah. screen. I was thinking of buying one and putting it as a front in my house. Uh, we have two <laughs> projects great for your house, honestly. Really? Yes. <laughs> Yes. You do uh, LEDs for inside? Yes. From 2018, from past year, I would say, uh, two of the main uh, LED screen manufacturer launches these new products, uh, especially for in their houses for private use. So there is LED for private use. I can have a huge LED instead of a wall in one of the rooms, right? Y uh, yes, you can. How big were they? Uh, the screen's 130 inches. I don't know how exactly it will be in meters, but it has and a diameter. Mine at home is 50, so 130. 130, is yes. It's almost three times more. Yes. Well, that's huge. Yes, it's called the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can use it as a wall also. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah. Now, um, <clears throat> you're, or you're also selling huge LED projects, you're renting them. How big is this market in Romania? How much market, what is your market share when it comes to that? Uh, thank you for asking that. Actually, from the 1st October, we will open a showroom in Bucharest, mm -hmm. in uh, Boulevard du Ouverture number 161. Uh, there, there will be a digital signage showroom and also a LED screen showroom. We are trying to uh, go into this direction with fixed installation LED screen. Uh, we are going through um, this market of um, shopping malls, retail centers, mm -hmm. um, um, hotels, restaurants, coffee shops. So what we are trying to do actually is to, to propose to our customers uh, to replace their old video projectors mm -hmm. with LED screens. Uh, um, because you're right, there is a trend. Maybe uh, a few years ago, LED screen was not our customer favorites. It was too expensive anyway. Yes, it, yes, it was, mm -hmm. but there is also big competition in China, for sure. There is over 40 manufacturers, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I'm talking about the big ones. Yeah. So um, uh, being such a competition uh, uh, in China, for sure, the prices go lower and lower. I tasted by myself, I tasted with our uh, manufacturers, uh, our partners from China. and Are they good quality? Uh, yes, usually they don't give up the quality. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they explain you exactly what they, what they sell. Mm -hmm. I mean the components, because uh, we also distribute components here in Romania. So we knew, we knew what they use in their modules, in their LED screen modules. So the prices, what I mean, the prices it's go lower down. and lower, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, th this, that means it's affordable. Uh, right now, I, I could say in 2019 or 2020, uh, there is affordable to replace your old video projector with LED screen. Okay, so uh, everybody's got a challenge for the next year, and we're getting closer to that. What is your challenge for 2020? Well, I got an idea. I think it's doable. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is to sell and install, to find a partner actually uh, for the biggest LED screen in Romania. What I need actually is... Um, How big? Uh, bigger than Cocor. <laughs> okay. 
I would say, I don't know, three, three, four hundred uh, fixed square meters. To stay forever. I mean. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so you need I'm a thinking, new I don't know, uh, a big retail center, a big shopping center. I mm -hmm. would like to do an outdoor facade completely. We have this kind of products. I really wanted to do this kind of project. So, what I'm trying to do actually is to push this idea mm -hmm. and maybe someone, someday, will ask for it. So you want to start a Times Square somewhere? Something like that. It's Times Square and Bucharest. Times Square and Bucharest. Even better than Times Square because they don't have such a big thing there. It's just tiny ones. Yes, uh, what I like to do is, uh, I don't know, four, five hundred square meters. Where would that be in Bucharest? Your favorite places? Mainly could be. Could be Unira, could be um, Afi, Kotrochen, could be any other retail or uh, retail center or um, any How other big building. the government building? Uh, another the idea. Government building, how about that? <laughs> it was IMAP a few days ago. <laughs> another idea, there is a lot of office buildings. What we could do, we could set up an entire screen on the entire uh, building. building, yes. How much would that cost? Uh, a, a screen as huge as a building? Could be a few hundreds, few thousand, a uh, few hundred thousand. A few hundred thousand euros? Yes, yes. Okay, compared but to it's the a good value investment. of the building, is not that much. It's a good investment uh, because after that you can get money from the... Advertising. Advertising, What yes. happens when it rains and snows? Absolutely no problem. They will survive? Exactly, yes. yes. You can guarantee that? We do offer guarantee and service. <laughs> Thank okay. you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, um, going back to events, what was the biggest uh, screen you ever mounted for an event? 200 square meters. Wow. Where? Yeah. In uh, Sala Uniri Palatul Parlamentului. Wedding or? No, it was Not a wedding. private. A yeah, conference? A, a company. Oh, okay, a company. Yeah. Weddings, what sizes do <clears> they prefer? Usually five by three or... Uh, a few days ago, we went uh, just here in Palatus Nagov uh, for another wedding. Uh, I think four uh, by two and a half. Okay. Usually like that. It's mm -hmm. about the screen on the back. Usually it's on the back of the artist. So we should play pictures, movies mm -hmm. with bride and uh, any the Any, and what was the craziest event you ever did? In terms uh, of lights, be, besides uh, besides, besides Moritz, the uh, NRCC, yeah. <laughs> which are yeah, they're crazy in their own right, but they're fun. So, uh, I would say the the most beautiful ones was um, uh, with the magazines. We work for Burda, for uh, Marie Claire, for mm -hmm. Harper's Bazaar. Uh, for Unica, for example. Okay, so we you work didn't for have this, um, ugly guys in suits, but you have beautiful supermodels on the screen. So I guess that's what. That's what <laughs> I <laughs> that said was the before. Reason. There, okay. there was uh, the okay. beautiful ones, and uh, they, they really are um, with beautiful people. And uh, we also do big size events like festivals, like uh, open air. But mm -hmm. um, uh, what I like to do the best. Honestly, it's uh, the, the, the indoor, the LED screen uh, projects, the big conferences uh, uh, with big size LED screens and uh, uh, complete video solutions. Uh, that, now, that's what we love to do. When it comes to lights, uh, the atmosphere lights, is there any new trend that's come, coming on the market? Yes, because most of the lights right now are, are going from bulbs to LED. Okay. Uh, oh, also, we are going back to LED screen. It's not LED screen, it's LED light. LED lights yeah. could be different te uh, temperature from, I don't know, to 2000. Just like our cars. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, this light manufacturer becomes better and better. And mm -hmm. they replace the lamps with, uh, with, with the LEDs. What is the trend, trend when it comes to figures, images uh, on the wall? projected with, uh, with the systems that you use, the Gobo, for instance, or I don't know what you're using right now. This was way back when I was in this business um, of TV. So what, what's, what do they want to see on the walls? Uh, the private citizens and the companies. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the companies, they want their logo. Exactly. Okay. Gobo, like you said before, yeah. uh, with their logo usually. The private parties usually had teams. I'm not... Uh, a specialist in uh, pick up a team and work on a team, but I have a colleague named Andra. Okay, she does that. Which is very good at it. That means uh, uh, she usually pick up a team with her client, and after that, we propose 
a you lot design of yes we design the images. A, a lot of images connected <coughs> to the theme that mm -hmm. means uh, it could be a forest could be an italian wedding and another question do you feel recession coming judging by the number of um you know inquiries going up or down i, I or could not say what's that. happening um I saw Are the less news. events this uh, fall? I saw the news with the big uh, uh, yeah. tourism agency uh, from, uh, from UK, but I could not say that because uh, uh, we have our partners here in Romania. Mm -hmm. We have uh, partners in Netherlands also because uh, during this time we made partners with uh, uh, event productions company from uh, Netherlands. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have distributors in Netherlands. We work with them for uh, for the screens, for the LED screens, and uh, they are not feeling that. We are not feeling that. Uh, our so there are not less events this uh, this fall. No, no, no. If you ask me, in past two, two years, I think the number of the companies working in event industry has doubled. Okay. Uh, that not means we have. You have more work to do, actually, yes, as we an do. industry. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's a good thing, because competition... But you need to work more to stay competitive. Yes, that's the hard... That's the hard part. That's the hard part, yes. Pressure on prices, pressure on but what? That's the good thing, at mm -hmm. least, because uh, competition means uh, you have to do your work very well. Okay, so if people watching happy. us today <laughs> want to have a great event, be it private or corporate, they should come to best event dot that row yes that row okay thank you very much thank for you being so much. with us at nrcc business talk thank i'm lucia mundruza and this was our segment for today see you next week